Hey yo, I've been on. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Carol the Diva. Today we're gonna be making our own wig, and when I tell you it's easy as one, two, three, I am not kidding. I will show you how to do the closing so no one will be able to tell that this is a wig. Let's get right to it. You're gonna need a stocking cap or a wig cap for this tutorial. Here I'm just putting my wig cap onto my mannequin to get myself ready to start making my wig. The hair I'm going to be using today is the Model Model Pose. It comes with 3 pieces in the pack and it's $13.99 per pack. I'm using the color OT27 and I will be using 2 packs total. I'm turning the wig block with the back towards me and I'm also adjusting the wig cap on it to my liking. I'm so happy I decided to go with this wig block instead of the mannequin head that I usually use because the wig fits me perfectly. To glue my wig cap on, I'm going to be using this glue and you should be able to find this in any beauty supply store. First I measured the hair and then I cut it to where I want it. I will show you in the next row exactly how I did that. I'm adding the glue onto the weft of the hair and I'm adding only a small amount. You want to make this layer real thin and you want to be careful not to squeeze the bottle too hard or you will have glue everywhere. I'm now gluing on my first track and I'm going to glue it as close to the edge as I can. As I glue the track down, I'm going to hold on to it for a good 10 seconds or so. And this is because I'm waiting for it to get a little bit tacky or sticky. And then I'll reach for my pump it up spray, spray some on it and then I'll dry it with my blow dryer. So this spray helps to make the glue dry much faster and give it a stronger hold. After spraying the pump it up spray on it, I use a blow dryer to dry it. This will help to speed up the drying time and I will be done making my wig much faster. For the second row, I'm showing you here how I measured the hair before cutting it. And this is how I know the length before adding the glue. After measuring it, I cut it, add the glue onto it, and then I glue it onto the wig cap. And just like I told you before, you only need a thin layer of glue on the weft before you glue it onto your wig cap. So at this point, you want to glue your tracks on about half an inch to one inch apart from each other. And this is only when you're at the back. As you start getting closer to the top, you want to go closer with your tracks. If you glue them too closely in the back, you're going to run out of hair by the time you get to the top, I promise you. And there again, I'm adding some pump it up spray right before I dry it with the blow dryer. I'm gonna speed the video up here a little, but as soon as I get closer to the top, I'll slow it down and explain some more exactly what I'm doing. This is a small piece of hair I have left over from the beginning. I'm trying to use up all the hair as much as I can. I want the back section to look really full but not the front that's gonna come down in my face and this is the reason why you see at this point I still haven't put any hair in the front yet. At this point I felt like it would be a good time to start adding hair to the front. 
doing it this way and making the front look less dense will make your wig look much more real. Now that I'm up to the top, I'm adding the glue to the wig cap as opposed to the track and this will make application much easier and faster. And just like I was doing earlier, I'll lay the track onto the glue, then spray some spray on it and dry it with my blow dryer. And I will keep doing this going around in circle until I get all the way up to the middle. Now you can have a better view of what I'm doing. And like I told you in the beginning, this is so easy to do. The only reason we'll have you can't do this is because you told yourself you can't. And just like a swirl, we're gonna keep adding glue and adding tracks and don't forget your pump it up spray and your blow dryer in between. At this point, I notice I'm getting closer to the end, so I want to keep the tracks as close to each other as I possibly can. So I kept the circular motion going, and I want to keep doing so until I have only a little area left to fill in the top. Now that I feel like I have it closed in enough, I'm going to cut the track right here. And as you can see, I still have a little area there to fill in, but don't you worry, I'm about to show you exactly how to close that. So you're going to get your track and you're going to start rolling it in as tight as you possibly can. Yeah, roll it in just like a toilet paper and you're going to roll it just enough to fit the area that you have left and then you're going to cut that off. Now you want to add some glue onto that little piece and just be sure to keep holding it tight as much as you can. I then spray some pump it up spray down in the little area and then I put the little piece of hair that I have left down in there. I'm going to hold it right here for a few seconds and try to dry it. Drying it while holding it is going to be hard so just hold it there until it gets like a little bit sticky or you're comfortable with it before moving your hand using a comb or a scissors or whatever you have to hold it in place while you dry it with the blow dryer because the heat from the blow dryer could get really hot on your hand and you don't want that. I'm also using the comb to push it further down in place to get it as flat as I possibly can. Then I'm going to open up the hair some and then I'm going to keep pushing it down even more before drying it with my blow dryer. And as you can see here, I'm using my finger to push it in as much as I can because I want it to look flat and I want it to look realistic. I'm not trying to have no tracks or no glue showing for no one to have anything to say. Believe me, this don't look good. I remember riding a bus in New York once and I was looking down on somebody's wig and I could see the tracks and the glue and that was not cute. You don't want this to be you. And just like that, I made my very own wig. And yes, you can do it too. And this is what it looks like, guys. I'm going to let it dry for about a couple of hours before putting it on. And this is what hair I have left from the two packs, you guys. Not that much, but I thought I'll show it to you just so you have an idea of how much hair I use. This is the wig. I am so happy with the outcome, but I'm going to put it on and customize it to my liking.
I was already in love before I even did anything to it but I knew I had to trim it up so I went ahead and did that. And I'm trimming little sections at once and not in clumps because I want it to look natural and doing it this way will have it looking as natural as I would like it to be. I'm using some chai silk infusion to add a little sheen to my curls and you want to keep this away from your roots because oil and glue does not mix you don't want your tracks to be falling out and as I oil the hair I'm using my fingers to tease the curls a little bit you cannot skip this step if you want your hair to look real as opposed to look overly fake I'm also using a pick to tease the root of my hair to give it some volume and also to make it look fuller. And this is me. Oh my god, yes, I'm loving it. You ever have that feeling where you're just feeling yourself? Yep, that's me right there. Feeling myself. Oh, I can't help it. I cannot help it one bit. I am loving this hair. If y'all follow me on Instagram, I am going to be posting some pictures wearing this hair. And I promise y'all you're going to like it. I would give you a sneak peek right now. But no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave that for Instagram. So just be on the lookout. Some really cute pictures coming up wearing this hair. So as usual dolls, let me know in the comment area what you think about this hair and if you think it's something that you would try. Please remember to L-I-K-E this video, share it with your friends and subscribe if you haven't already done so. I would appreciate it so much. I love you guys so much and I appreciate the love and feedback that I'm getting from y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.